Now, what would you do if the woman that you love was having an affair with a family member? What's up guys, it's your favorite executive dating coach, Ian Miles here from KarmaLifestyles.com. And welcome back to The Miles Show, the only show that brings you delightful topics on dating, women, and sex in the 21st century. But guys, not so fast, okay? I wanna remind you that I'm still giving away my free ebook called Get A Girl To Like You. Now, I basically show you how you can master the art of seduction in order to get a girl to like you. So if I were you, I would definitely grab a free copy today, right now, by simply clicking on that link in the video's description box right down below. I'll send you the free copy right away. Now there are people that you'll be comfortable with from the get-go, and when your woman has siblings, you'll not have a problem with their siblings coming over or you know when they're in need for your girlfriend to be there for them. You'll not trip if you walked in a room and you found your girlfriend sitting in a cozy position on the same couch as a brother, right? You'll not be worried if your girlfriend spends a good amount of time on her phone talking to her brother. You know, some family members are close and they're tight, just like that. There's no need to raise any eyebrows. But I recently got an email that challenged that type of comfort and blind trust and the email reads as follows. Hey Ian, I'm actually a new fan and I've been enjoying the Miles Show because you are honest and logical with the things that you say. I've been in a relationship for two years and I have always admired how close my girlfriend's family was because I come from a family that guys are not that close. Now I recently found out that my girlfriend has been having an affair with her stepbrother. The guy's older by like 10 years and my girlfriend says that she was manipulated. We're engaged and we're supposed to wed in the summer. She's pregnant and has been apologizing for me to take her back but I don't know how to process all of this. Please help me Ian. Wow, like first off, I wanna thank you for sharing your story with us. Now I always say that dating is not for the faint hearted and there's a level of self confidence that you have to have to build to ensure that you can bounce back from any situation that you experience in dating. You should never underestimate the desire of people to get what, what makes them feel alive. So hidden and forbidden passions are the secret desires that that makes some people live life on the edge with, the, with that adrenaline rush that comes from never being too careful not to be caught. So in today's show, we will explore how to build unshakable confidence and be able to tell the early signs if your woman is cheating on you. Now, family or not, there are boundaries that are supposed to be respected when other people's feelings are involved. Understanding where you draw the boundaries is a very important aspect to explore in the beginning of the relationship. Blind trusts in relationships with women is, is what gets some guys in trouble. There are always signs of infidelity when, when, when people engage in it, interact with each other. It would have been challenging to tell an affair going on between siblings, but it would not have been something impossible to spot in the early stages. Now women are different and understanding the woman that you're dating is not only important, but it's also beneficial to how you stay on top of things in the relationship. Most guys don't take keen interest in the women they commit to and you know, try to understand them as individuals. Your woman can lie through her lips, but at, at that subconscious level, she can tell you everything. Now, for example, when you know your woman's lying cues, like you know she touches her hair or she does something unique because she's uncomfortable but doesn't want to show it, you'll always have an advantage in conversations because you can always detect deceit. Now, I know that it's not good to play games with people, but you have to sometimes set up the stage to understand the person better in different circumstances. So putting your girlfriend in a position that she lies can help you understand her nonverbal cues towards you when she's not telling the truth. The body movements, the tonal variation, and other involuntary movements can communicate clearer when you want to know something that a woman is trying to hide. Now, the next technique of determining if your woman is lying to you is comparing her behavior. Does she hug 
all of her siblings with her chest out? Does she interact with every guy in a certain way? How different is she behaving from the case that you're suspecting from other cases? Being able to compare your girlfriend's interaction at different levels can easily help you know when something is off immediately. Now, it might seem like something that requires a lot of attention, but it, the latter can have more damage when you don't safeguard your emotions by understanding where you invest them. So build an open communication with a woman before you can make a commitment. Everyone has their skeletons, but the reason that most people don't open their closets, even to people close to them, is fear. The fear of being judged, misunderstood or isolated. B building an open communication can always show you topics that someone is not comfortable talking about. That awareness can inspire you to know the reason behind it and potentially protect you from hurt. However, you cannot always know the intentions of the woman that you're dating because taste and preference change gradually over time. So building your inner confidence is the best technique of self-care when you dive into dating and relationships. Now, a simple way to improve your confidence in dating is understanding what you bring into the relationship. And when you know that, you know, the value that you bring to the other person, it gives you the comfort in fact, it gives you the bargaining power and comfort to get the best from the relationship. And when things don't work out, you'll not be broken into irreplaceable pieces because you know what you possess and what you're moving on with into the next relationship. The next way in building supreme confidence needed to thrive in dating is mastering the art of separating your romantic relationship from your other aspects of your life. Now, it's challenging not to let the woman you love in your wins and fails. You'll, you'll want her to see and experience you at the highest and cushion you at the lowest. That will automatically make her an inseparable part of your life. And mastering the balance of individuality in a relationship can build your confidence in the woman that you are dating and the emotions that you're investing in the relationship. Love or attraction can inspire blind faith in a relationship. Now, it's expensive to destabilize your emotional state and thus taking a keen interest in some of the things that are ignored provides a kind of like a safety net when things don't go as anticipated. It's hard to overrule your emotions and choose logic sometimes, but when a woman's principles conflict gravely with yours, then the relationship is bound to experience more challenges. Now, you can choose your feelings, but that might not guarantee the outcome that you desire. Guys, that unfortunately brings us to the end of today's show. Now, if you want to learn new ways to build supreme confidence and understand women, then by all means, explore KarmaLifestyles.com and get to know more about women and dating in the 21st century. Also, at Karma Lifestyles, we offer services such as the residential training where Emre and I will physically take you out one-on-one -on -one to the coffee shops, to the bars, to the nightclubs, everywhere. Now look, this isn't some online training where we will talk to you remotely and tell you what to do from afar. Neither is this a boot camp where you're gonna be ram packed with a load of random guys. This is a private one-on-one -on -one training with the best dating coaches in the world. And when I personally demonstrate how I do it in front of your eyes, you will be stunned and it will change your reality. And all you then need to do is just rinse and repeat that same process. It's that simple. Now guys, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as it helps us grow and reach more people that are languishing in bad relationships without a way out. Now once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.